Hey, welcome to uh, Rolly View Farms. My name is Ed Vandenberg. I work for the local uh, Dealvel dealership here, J&D Farmers Dairy Service, and we are at Rolly View Farms. So John Tapp and his son Kevin own this farm. They have been milking cows in this robot facility for five and a half years, and they uh, are able to manage 103 cows with uh, two VMS. Somatic cell counts are awesome. Their bacteria counts are good. They have a herd navigator system in here, OCCs. Their production is 40 kg average, and they're milking three times a day. So some of the features of this farm, it's a uh, outside drive through And uh, you can see that uh, we have drop slots in the end here. These drop slots uh, empty into a 40-foot wide manure pit. It's a raceway, so it's 20 feet for each laneway, and it's about 160 feet long. At the back of the barn here, you're going to see there's an area here to run the cows through a foot bath. These gates here right now are in a position to not let cows in. And when John and Kevin want to run the cows through the foot bath, they just swing those gates. It uh, blocks off the crossover and the cows are forced to go through the foot bath along the back here. Got a nice little feature here in that when we want to empty that foot bath, there's the uh, plugs here that would be in the, in the, in the hole, of course, to plug it. When we're filling it for the for the foot bath, we pull the plug out when we're done with it, and all that water automatically drains into that 40-foot wide manure pit underneath. Uh, another thing we have in back here, of course, is the deal valve uh, cattle brush, which is typical. There's a cow using it. We also have a drain in here. You want to think about these things. We have a drain in here that also ends up in that manure pit. So if you're washing things down, and et cetera, it's an easy way to clean up without having water laying all around. So the barn is... Uh, three rows of head-to-head -head stalls. There's 120 stalls in here. In the distance, you see a couple of robots. The center room has the herd navigator set up in it, has a fridge. Uh, it's basically a miscellaneous herdsman room. And in behind there, we'll see it a little later as we walk through the barn, there's also a hoof trim chute there that they use, of course, for their hoof trimming between their visits from their professional hoof trimming. You're going to notice one thing about this barn that is unique, at least in BC, where our temperatures do not typically stay that high and humidity is not a problem most of the time but John wanted to maximize airflow in here so we have a closed up ceiling which again is pretty rare in BC there might be one or two other farms that have this and it's insulated above so it keeps the heat out and also in the winter time it keeps it a little warmer in here so we've got curtains as you can see in the distance there wide open and to my right are fans and we'll just walk by them in a minute but there's uh, four banks of fans here that pull the air from left to right uh, through this barn. So this is a mirror image of the other side or foot bath here as well. These are the louvers for the fan. When the fans are running, they open up. And uh, yeah, so it's a very good way to ventilate the barn. The reason for the ceiling is we don't wanna have open truss where we're gonna really slow down the airflow. We wanna maximize the airflow. So we've got a ceiling here that's closed off. And as you look at it, it's very streamlined and it's going to allow that air to read its maximum uh, airflow. Typically, we like to have a slip halfway down. If you want to address a cow that looks like uh, she needs some help or you want to inspect something uh, in your stalls, etc., or on your cows, you can easily slip through. There's a hose there and, uh, and a hose bib so that you can clean off your boots when you come out of there so you don't get the feet uh, or don't get the feed uh, dirty at all. It's a nice little, little things like that don't cost a lot, but... You want to be thinking about that to make it convenient for yourself. When you're designing a barn, you want to kind of design it as if you're the one that's going to be managing it. Then you can at least uh, think it through. Things like this make it very nice without costing a lot of money. So John and Kevin wanted maximum comfort in this barn. John wanted to make sure they had lots of room in front of the robots. He's about 28 feet. And uh, right now you don't see a lot of cows there. Things are going pretty smooth. But there's times where maybe right after... Uh, we're going through the foot bath, et cetera, where there's a lot more traffic around the robots. It's nice to have that extra room for cows to drink, for cows to line up for the their turn in the robot, and uh, just make it a more pleasant area for the cows to go to so they can go in there and get milk. So here's where the cows get sorted out, of course, on the exit. They get sorted out this way. We've got a couple of stalls here where we can just keep this gate across the alley here closed so we can give some cows immediate attention and then send them back to the barn. And we can also take any cows that are on the other side of the gate on the packs. We can take them over to the fetch pen on the far side. There's an alleyway there. They get milked. 
and get sorted right back into here again. So it makes it very convenient to have your uh, special needs cows get milk, et cetera. You see the scraper here? We can, uh, we can dictate when we want to have uh, this alley scraped in the special needs area because there's times that cows are calving, et cetera, where you would not want the scraper to be in here. We've got a special dog that we put on the chain that unless we have that uh, loosened off, it's going to stop here all the time. And then when we do need to uh, have that rest of this special needs area scraped, we put a pin in and it will scrape this area automatically so you don't have to bring a tractor in just to, for the worry of safety for animals that are calving and the calf itself. So that's a protection for the calves, protection for the TLC animals. This is something that John saw on another farm and he kind of liked the idea, especially for the special needs because it's easy to hop into any one of these stalls. These cows can uh, eat and get good reach because this thing is flexible and uh, it, is, it is quite a nice feature. It looks vulnerable, it looks like cows could jump over top, but uh, that's not been a problem. It seems to be just the right, the right height. Hey there, it's Tony at J&D Farmers Dairy Service. I'm the service manager here, and today we're taking a quick little look at Rolliview Farms in Chilliwack, BC, owned by John and Kevin Tapp. So we have a full deal of all control system on the robots and the tank and vacuum system, milk, complete milking system here. We use the T100 tank washer because it does talk on the uh, communication system for the robots and with that we have the ability to do smart cooling where we can uh, tell the tank how much milk is coming in and we will cool that volume of milk until we can establish a thermostatic cooling where it will take over and cool the tank as it does normally and then we'll uh, carry on we have the double milk filters here so the way this works is the milk filters are switched during a wash cycle and we'll go to a clean filter for the soap cycle um, and then milk through the cleaned filter until the next wash. Uh, between the current wash and the next wash, the customer is able to change the filter on the side that will be empty and not being used, and we'll have therefore a clean filter in for the soap cycle of the next wash, and then carry on for the next 12 hours or eight hours of milking, depending on how many times he washes in a day. Moving on, we have uh, some smart vacuum pumps on this system. They also are talking on the same communication system as the tank and the robots. So the robots will tell the vacuum pump whether the cow is being prepped for milking, whether the cow is actually starting milking, um, and will adjust its uh, speed based on demand until the point when the cow is milking, and then it will run on basically a, a vacuum, a required vacuum level. Moving on, we have a calf feeder on the, running on the Delpro system over here with two sides also running the uh, hygiene boxes. Um, they've had calf feeders at this farm for probably 20 years, starting with uh, a calf feeder that had some knobs and dials on it and interfaced with the old Alpro system, moving up the uh, position it again, replaced the calf feeder once in, a, in the old barn before they built this barn and uh, was a slightly newer version at the time. Uh, and then after that, when they moved into this barn, that calf feeder came over here until it was replaced a, a year or two ago uh, with the latest CF1000 uh, and auto scales. And now uh, just recently we've updated it to carry the uh, most recent software and the hygiene box so they can fully automatically wash the calf nipples and calf feeder system without having to be here. They do also run uh, two medicators off of this calf feeder to uh, take care of the calf's health. We'll take a quick look at the robot. The robots have been milking here for about five years. So they are the classic VMS uh, running with her navigator. So we have in the, in the uh, VMS, we have uh, the familiar sea cleaning system from the, from the VMS, prepping the cows and then milking, attaching each order individually to be milked individually and taken off individually. And then we have in the uh, in the front of the robot is their navigator sampler, which we can use to take samples of milk to uh, be tested for progesterone or LDH or BHB, giving us uh, heat detection and pregnancy detection, as well as abnormal repro problems. It can be detected, and then we can also uh, test the milk for ketosis or mastitis issues. 
So real quick, we take a peek at where the uh, sampling units are. So centered between the two robot rooms in this farm, we have the uh, sample intake and the analyzer instrument. So the milk will come from the robot into the sample intake. This machine takes a sample from many locations and brings it to the one location, which is the analyzer. And this is the thing that does the milk sampling and reports it to the computer in the office, what its determinations are. We also have a small computer in this room for a, a subcomputer so they can do a lot of their entries and data looking in this room uh, and not have to go into the clean office. Anyways, that's uh, about it regarding Rolly View Farms. Hope that was informative and uh, thanks for listening.